Corso and Hunky clashed a bit, um, and they competed, you might say, for Ginsburg's time and limited funding, which he supplied to his poet friends. Um, he had a, a, a funding source, Ginsburg did it called the Committee on Poetry, and so the, the wonderful acronym is COP, you know, which you can take a couple different ways. And so, <clears throat> Corso and um, Hunky both were on the receiving end of, of small payments from COP. And so one of the anecdotes, I don't want to give away all the good stuff in the book, but I interviewed, um, um, what's his name, Bob? Rosenthal. Bob Rosenthal, thank you, um, who served as Ginsburg's secretary, personal assistant, and he told me that he would get so fed up sometimes with Hunky and with Corso, you know, because they were both using, and here, you know, they want to buy from Ginsburg, and they go straight out the door to buy drugs with it. And so sometimes he said that he would, he would set up the appointments on the phone with Corso and Herbert, say, okay, you come by at 2 o'clock or whatever. And he would set up so they'd come at the same time. So they would, be, they would embarrass each other. You know, that each would see, you know, they would be exposed as needing a hand out. Um, Wieners I talk about, too. Uh, Hunky was pretty close friends with him. Um, another fascinating figure, someone who deserves to be written about, who hasn't been. I mean, there's a biography that should be written. 